In this video I'm making game to ring. I'm using a selection of game, that's your choice. I'm using some feathered game for this one. But the star of the show has to be the pork belly, which I'm gonna mince myself, but I do recommend a fatty piece of pork. That way you get a really, really succulent terrine. Serve it with some pickles and some toast. You're gonna to blow everyone's socks off with this anyway. I know you're gonna really like this video. There on your screen is the recipe, and that will also be below in the description. So go down there and you can copy paste it. That is a terrine mold with a nice lid. That's what I'm using. But if you don't have one and you've got a loaf tin, but you need a lid, so that's what you could do. You could, when you've done it all, you could put a bit of tin foil over the top. So it protects the bacon and the cling film when it goes in the oven. I like to have three layers of cling film or surround wrap if you're across the pond. So make it a bit more sturdy. And there you go, I'm laying out this lovely thin streaky bacon that I bought and I'm sort of squishing it like you see that with my hand makes it even thinner so sort of like make sure that is big enough to completely line whatever sort of tin terrine mold whatever you're using and the cling film on the top makes it even easier to do that so I'm now that's going to stay like that in the fridge keep it nice and cold while I prepare the filling so the main part for this meat is the pork belly and I will be mincing my own so I'm just cutting up into manageable pieces because I haven't got like an industrial mincing attachment it's for my kitchen aid it's pretty standard so I like to give it as much help as I can that was guinea fowl I bought so that's a type of fowl and that is going in the freezer not to freeze but like 20 minutes half hour or so to get really super cold so there's some herbs to prepare I had some thyme some sage and some parsley and I'm gonna sort of roughly just chop that up a bit but not too finely I'm happy with that and there's some pistachio nuts slightly salted and I think they're really nice in these terrines so I've just given them not even a really a chop I sort of run the knife through it a couple of times to break them up a little bit so there's my mi mincing attachment and that was also in the freezer it helps when you're mincing meat especially fatty meat to get it super cold and once you put all the meat through that was just like half an onion and a bit of garlic and it helps clean up the uh, the attachment it's quite handy and that is me putting an absolute ton of black pepper into it loads of black pepper you're going to need plenty of seasoning for this and remember it's going to be eaten cold cold things like this need to be more seasoned than hot i was using a spoon and then i remembered god gave me the best kitchen tools ever on the end of my arm so i use that i use my hands and i give that a thorough mix in i want to taste it so i made a little patty pan fried it and tried it but obviously it's hot so it's going to taste more seasoned so if you really want to do it properly then you would put that patty in the fridge but you know, i ran out of patience so i thought it needs a little bit more seasoning i believe that's where the uh, partridge was shot so obviously when you're having game be prepared that you know you're gonna sometimes find little bits of um, pellets from a shotgun. Right, uh, I'm searing those just briefly, a bit of flavour, and that is a, a good generous amount of brandy. I'm just deglazing the pan with whilst the fillets are in, but I'm gonna take those out now. And what I want to do is reduce and flambe a little bit. I love setting fire to stuff. If you've got it really hot, those flames are going to get really big and scary and burn your ceiling, perhaps. So keep the heat controlled. And if you don't want to set fire to it, don't. You can just cook it until it's reduced heavily and the alcohol will be gone. Anyway, the resting juices went in, the brandy went in, into the mixture. And now we're lining the mould. Uh, sorry, we're filling the lined mould. Now, a fork is necessary here because what it does, those prongs, they allow little pockets of air to escape through them you don't want pockets of air so i put roughly half the mixture in pressed it down arranged my f my breasts my breasts the partridge breast and then topped it up with the rest the remaining mixture and if you've got too much mixture and it really is like far too much then just make yourself like a couple of really nice burgers with it it'd be gorgeous and then you can see what i'm doing there just laying over the rest of the bacon over that way and then cling film back down again follow suit the other side there nice see it's it's very technical this but it's not difficult you just have to sort of follow the method those bay leaves there really i think that just makes me feel better i don't think it does anything to the flavor but you know just i don't know i like it i like the way that looks so then tidy 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 with the cling film get the ends in 
Now the cling film is safe to cook with in the oven as long as it's not uh, naked to the, the heat. So that's why a lid is required. So that is now ready for the oven. I'm using a roasting tin with hot water. That's called a bain-marie. I showed you the, the temperatures there and I, I recommend using a cloth when carrying a hot tray like I'm doing there. So that in total took a, over an hour to get to that required core temperature. I think you should do, you know, don't don't try to sort of get this a, like pink or anything like that. Cook it thoroughly and then let, well, we're gonna cool it down, but whilst it cools down in the fridge, I wanna sort of press it a bit to make it nice and compact. So a little bit of cardboard, this isn't essential. It'll be fine if you don't do this, but I just like to do it. You've gone to all this other effort. You might as well do this bit. So look, we wrap that around with a tin foil or aluminium foil, if you like. Cut it to the right size. Some some weight, tins are ideal. And when that's cooled down a bit, that's going in the fridge. I don't want to put it in when it's hot. And this is the next day. I do recommend you do this a day before you're going to have it, at least a day, maybe even a few days. And that jelly is good. It can be very salty, so be aware of that. But we're going to use that to sort of make the outside of this thing look a little bit more attractive so reserve the jelly take away those bay leaves thank you for doing whatever job you've done and i found that jelly i had to sort of put in a microwave for 10 seconds or so to get it melted a bit but i gave my tarina a nice brush and look i mean it looks really good doesn't it and you can make that it's not hard honestly you can do that i have all faith in you and uh, there very pleased serve it on a board some pickles some green stuff i mean I'm not a master of presentation, but I think that looks nice. I'm going to have a little taste of it now. Look, it looks good. Bit of toast, a bit of cornichon. Mmm, get stuck in. Anyway, I'm going to hand you over to me now for the tasting. So let's taste this thing and find out what it is like. I've already had some. Spoiler alert, it's amazing. I'm going to put some of my lovely homemade piccalilli on a bit of toast. Bit of this amazing terrine and... Mm. 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 Well, that is rather lovely. Um, I'm going to add or remove items to this to suit you. Do that, but please do use a fatty piece of pork. Pork belly is ideal. And um, yum, you're going to really love it. And so are the people you serve it to, Nick, and I love you even more. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching this video. Thank you, of course, for liking and subscribing and all those sorts of things, because I know you're always doing that and leaving me comments and sharing the video. Always, always appreciated it. I know that the people upstairs will eventually say, yes, let's recommend this channel to lots of people because there's actually something really good here. I know they're gonna eventually. <laughs> anyway, we live in hope. Thank you again. Catch you again pretty soon. Bye-bye.